Well, hello and welcome. You're watching Jim and Esme, and we're back into From the Depth. As you probably know by now, the commissioned officers in the army of Jim and Esme, aka uh, Jim and Esme's channel's Patreon supporters, are eligible to get a craft built for them. And this craft is built for them as a kind of little token of gratitude that they are supporting the channel at the certain level they are continuously supporting the channel on. And this time we have came to the project of Ayak Deboter, which is a commander in the army of Jimmedism. And about that, huge thanks to Admiral Super Dave, Captain Y, Stellar Lieutenant C2, Venerated Lieutenant Powered by Greed, Lieutenant Asteria, Tyler Russ, and Vincent Veritas for supporting the channel as well. And here we have the build for Commander Ike the Boater. So we got a little request, and the Commander level does get a medium sized build. And this is basically a combat capable logistics ship. This is a weird combo, but think about this. You want a transport ship that also can mine and can defend itself, so it doesn't need an escort. Super good for our common, for our coming uh, playthrough of the Nether campaign. So this is the first, itera first iteration of the ship, of course. This is, as you can see, the size of the ship. It's going to be around this size. And we have crafted a very nice and classic boat design. I must say I'm pretty happy with this. I think we can make this thing goes, go pretty fast. And one thing we really want for a logistics ship is that it should be fast and maneuverable. It will be able to face combat, but really it should really be facing uh, reality and mining and transport and things like this. To flesh this ship out a little bit more, we have decided to have the, eight, the outer layer of one meter of metal, so pretty lightly armored, and then we'll back it up by the game's most efficient material of them all, which is wood. So there we got it, a shaped and some basic armor. And having wood like this also gives us some decent floatability. Having equal metal and wood makes you float, by the way, if you don't know that. And voila, the next step has been taken. Here we have decided to add some very efficient Slim Jim's um, engines at the sides here. We also have integrated a alloy spool liner, not the best spool liner, but it is a spool liner. And in this compartment, we have taken one of our prefabs of a little uh, engine, no, what is it? AI compartment that's EMP insulated and everything. And all the commissioned officers from cadet and above can of course access our uh, all our blueprints and all our turrets and everything like that if you want them. You know where to find them. And there we have more engines and this amounts us to a certain engine power of ish 5000. Might be enough, might not. To maintain the maneuverability we have decided to use some azipods right here. You can see some be beautiful azipod right there. So that should really gain some maneuverability for this build. And as you can see here, let us but um, we have started to design the superstructure of this ship and added turrets. Now I did design a... Uh, there was a certain request of a certain caliber and everything like that. And we could like almost deliver on that. We do have uh, some calibers there and we got some nice guns. And you can see we use some nice mimicking to make this... Uh, shape really work into the ship. So we have two of the same turret giving us some decent firepower and basically making us hold off the enemy. We're starting to get a little bit expensive though. And as you can see in the next iteration we have really started to flesh out how the ship's front is going to look like. 
Here we have beautiful wooden decks. We have metal areas protruding. We have uh, white metal, the main color of the army of Jimidism, and the secondary color, the metal gun black, basically. And thus we have it here. We should definitely do like this, so you can see how it's moving on. And as you probably saw from the superior battleship, I really love that shield design I got. So I decided to use this shield design a little bit on the side on this ship too. Now these shields won't be completely isolated, but uh, we're using this to actually have the mining tools. Mining tools, not mining tools. What am I saying? Mining tools, of course. And as you can see here, we got this alloy spall liner all around this particular ship. In the front, we are actually using a um, turning thruster based missile interceptor. And this is the particular interceptor block that we actually developed on the episode about uh, empirical testing, where we try to find out the optimal SIVS missiles. And this is one of the solutions we found. And these are actually maneuverable enough to be able to react and hit cram shells that are coming at us in time, which can be quite useful if this beautiful logistics craft is facing some strong, um, not strongholds, overwatch, or, or, or not overwatch, onyx watch ships uh, when we're playing the campaign. And as you might imagine, this ship will be part of the uh, um, of the second chapter frontier fleet that we're going to conquer the nether with. By the way, you can download this ship in the comments field. No, not the comments field, probably the description and the comments field. Uh, you can get it on the workshop later on uh, and of course the final version. But anyways, and there we go. We have started to install a little lamp system on here. So in case we do uh, encounter the aforementioned onyx watch we do want some simple lambs because to be honest the onyx watch is a cram faction but their crams suck so bad that we can be able to stave them off by some interceptors and some lambs which is nice we won't of course be able to face the stronghold i'm just thinking in my head that the onyx watch is synonymous with the stronghold uh, but that's of course just uh, my lack of uh, gameplay experience because I only, you know, I tested my ships against the stronghold so many times, my ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you that. Um, but that doesn't know I mean there are, I know there are other ships, but I do think I've heard that the Onyx Watch crams are really, really bad. So I think using some lambs, we can stave them off. And this is something that our commander, Ike the Boater, was also requesting the ship to have. Because of course, we have built this ship after Commander Ike the Boater's tips and suggestions, as is customary in this uh, honorary builds for um, supporters of the Army of Humanism that are actually, you know, helping me making videos every single month, which is super generous. Look at that. We are starting to flesh out this little ship here. We have really added some more extra auxiliary weapon system. We have four VLM medium missiles and they are basically made to have radar seekers, some EMP explosive and frag, basically some mixed damage to be able to encounter both naval and land uh, not not land or yes land too, but aircrafts Then we also have a little torpedo system that is set up to deal with enemies that are under the water surface and on the water surface and Both of these weapon controllers for the torpedoes as well as the VLMs vertical launch missiles are set up to deal with targets on their uh, well reasonable altitude by the way as you can see here, we have also added a smaller pod in the front of the ship to really add and improve the maneuverability of it. And I will tell you this, it works so good. 
We have updated the turrets. Um, nothing to really go into too deeply, but we added some beautiful decorations here and there. We added more mining and we also added a little Hesh deck gun at the back. Just simple um, 67 millimeter gun, which corresponds with a beautiful Army of Gymnasium water bottle that you actually can buy on our YouTube shop, by the way. In any case, looking beautiful, more engines, a little repair bot, stuff like that. And one of the requirements for this ship is to have a lot of uh, storage capabilities. And as you can see, that's something we definitely got. We have started to develop on the superstructure. What am I doing down here? There we go, the superstructure. Here we have the shields I talked about. We have some laser warners on there. We have a lot of... Uh, um, well, mining capabilities there. We have some ladders going on top and you can see we can access the entire ship. We have laser warners, we got smoke, we have munition warners and it's looking splendid. Now this is a little door, leads to nowhere, but it looks kind of cool. And we're going to have a proper little uh, command deck or what is it called? It's not flight deck, what is it? Deck? Anyways. It is up top here and inside here I'm thinking we should be able to stick some more storage because as you can see right now the storage is kind of 300k but I actually think we want larger storage on this particular vessel because a lot of bigger ships cost a lot more than this and we really want to make sure that we can afford them. And there we go we have started this ship by having a little compartment that we are actually able to exist in. We lent some of Setup's beautiful terminals to put on the sides here because I thought they looked cool. We have uh, actually increased the amount of miners we have here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Yes, nine. That's uh, that's eighteen, right? Eighteen in total. And it's set up to mine resources when it's not busy with uh, fighting. So when it's not fighting, when there is no enemy, it's just gathering resources. And you can see I really try to utilize this area to make a really interesting display of uh, materials. So it really looks like a proper storage room. Then we also have some access ways so we can walk around the ship using the staircases and the railings and then of course climb up here to the little um well cockpit area where we did add a little lunch we we have developed for the uh, superior battleship we also got some extra detection up here some lights and just a little nice cozy cabin feeling then I've also developed a smaller little detection turret for this uh, because the coincidence rangefinder I think I used a little too little of because it's really good because its updates are really frequent which can be pretty nice. Because of this ship's uh, logistic requirements, man why am I, never mind. What I was going to say is because of this ship's logistic requirements, I thought it would be a good idea to have a little fog of war removing a radar dish thing on here. So that has been added indeed. And there we have it. It's starting to be close to finished. I've asked Ike the Boater which name of the ship uh, he preferred and he gave me some names and out of those names, I thought that Army of Gymnasium Reed was the best of them. So this is officially now the Army of Gymnasium Reed ship. And here we have a, a little tagline, AOG Invictus. We got a white logo on top of there and it's starting to look pretty nice. I just like this uh, little area here. By the way, um, I stole setups table and shares. I think they're absolutely stunning and we can easily access the interiors here uh, we got a place to spawn we got our lunch here and we can just uh, fire the guns if we like to beautiful 
we got a little sonar in here and as you probably can see we have this beautiful maneuverability thanks to the acipods we are very maneuverable we can see we can turn just like this you can see it turns pretty darn quickly and we can switch directions like this if you look at the bottom surface you can see that we're actually pretty maneuverable and i think that's super cool and the uh, the stabilization is actually controlled by general pids this means that even if we manually control the ship we won't really disturb the stabilization and as soon as we are not on the controls, it will go back and just auto mine instead. I thought that was some pretty darn smart maneuvers, but well, maybe that's just me. So here we have it, the latest add-on, the latest add-on to the Army of Gymnasium, CLK, Reed Class Light Cargo Cruiser. And CLK is a combination of CL, Light Cruiser, and K, uh, AK. A and K, AK, which is AKA, <laughs> cargo ship. I don't know if you understood that, but no matter, I combine two classes. And if you wanna know my classes, you should definitely self-assign Matru's third class and join the Army of Gymnasium Discord. And you can see in there, I have pinned the naming conventions that is official for the Army of Gymnasium. And on this iteration, you can see here, we should actually, warp to this thing here and uh, on this iteration we have taken some feedback from commander Ike the Boater and implemented them onto the ship so basically Ike wanted some blue line to uh, break off the design so we added blue lines the turrets um, have a little blue band in front of them and we have a blue band across here and I think that looks pretty darn cool for some uh, cargo ships like this. This is of course not a straight combat vessel. This is a cargo and maintenance and mainly cargo, but also a little bit of a mining vessel that can help in combat and defend itself. Uh, also, uh, we did change the radar system up on that request to be more white-ish than uh, gold-ish and we did add this little um, mesh from the radar cracker and I thought that looked really cool and we added the blue line there onto the dishes. Because one thing I really like to have, that's to have the original pieces, the original things that do a function in the game to still be visible and we can kind of add that thing add some add-ons make it look cooler with other props but i really don't like to hide uh, like the radar dishes here i don't like to hide it it's not my style i like to pimp it with some cool surfaces but not completely hide it i think that's uh, that's my style you can do whatever you want but yeah we're on top here we should do a little walk through of it here and we can of course climb down here we have the cargo area and this ship has half a million in storage which is of course exactly something we'd want to have we can walk alongside the ship here into the front and everything we have the missiles there i even I even added stuff like this to make the lasers look a little bit nicer we can we can climb up top here this is actually a cargo and petrol little uh, service station but yeah maybe we can have an extra crew member sleep in there if, uh, if they i don't know missed their shift or whatever in any case um we should teleport back onto here just to get back here because I do want to show you all the top speed. So it is, of course, it's not the fastest of the fast, but it is decently fast and not to forget, it's pretty efficient too. But we're going up to a 30 meters per second 
And if you look at the little north symbol on top there, you can see that they are moving pretty quickly. We do really have a maneuverable ship. And that's something that I think is super cool. And there it is, the CLK, Army of Jimidism Reed, cargo, light cruiser, and a little bit of a miner. Very beautiful ship, built in the honor of Commander Ike the Boater. And of course, extra thanks to Commander Ike the Boater for supporting the channel on this level. And this build is a gratitude of this. So I do hope you will enjoy this ship too. We will certainly will and we're gonna use it in our future uh, little nether playthrough using this ship and all the other ships in the second chapter Frontier Fleet. If you also want to support the channel, go to uh, patreon.com slash jimodesm, link in the description, and you can see what's in it for you if you choose to become a commissioned officer in the army of jimodesm. If you just want to be in the army of jimodesm, you can enlist yourself at Matru's third class in the hashtag army of jimodesm. Mm. Uh, Discord, which you can't access that from this get go, by the way. You need to do like this you go into bot interaction chat, and there you self assign Matru's third class, and there you get access to hashtag Army of Jimidism. And when you've done that, you basically enlisted, so you are officially in the Army of Jimidism for free if you don't want to be a commissioned officer. But if you do want to be a commissioned officer, you can access all my uh, templates, turrets. Uh, files that I use in this game and other games too, if you want to know. But anyways, check that out yourself. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel, all the CEOs of the Army of Jimidism, and I'll see you all next time. If you enjoyed this episode, please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. This is your host, Jimidism, signing out.